There's a new launcher on the blog called Quasitso, which is much more intuitive than any other launcher out there. Simply swiping down will instantly bring up the app drawer and its powerful search engine, which lets you search just about anything within your apps or the web. Back on the homepage, you can also swipe up to bring its useful list of widgets. It lets you see the weather, control your music, upcoming calendar events, and any of your personal widgets. The idea is to make it way easier to open certain tasks and to get more information much more quickly. And I think they nailed it. Plus the fact that it's super customizable makes it even more useful. It's also free, open source, and unlike 99% of other launchers, it's been built from scratch and not based on the basic AOSB launcher template. It follows its own concepts, which is pretty cool. If you'd also like your UI to follow its own concepts, download Iconify. It will literally change the look of your Android OS. I mean, just look at how much it changed the quick settings on my Pixel. It enabled three rows of tiles instead of just two, and I changed the look of the tiles, brightness bar, notifications, and background. It doesn't just stop at the quick settings. I could also change the look of the status bar icons, volume panel, lock screen clock, the roundness of everything, the color engine, navigation bar, and a lot more. It's a complete gold mine for power users, but here's the bombshell. It does require you to have root, and it only works on AOSP devices running Android 12 or higher, like the Google Pixels. So I know it's a massive compromise to most, but I still had to show it off to the few who would appreciate this fine. Maybe even a reason to root. I made that video in the past too, so if you want that, it's in the top right corner. Also, I just created this new app called How To Personalize, which is filled with a ton of beautiful wallpapers and widgets that you won't find anywhere else. Combine this with the two previous apps and your phone will look astonishing. Only on my Patreon, link down below. Okay, here's something just as useful as the previous two apps that everyone can use. You know when you tap on a link within an app and it usually opens up in the browser? Well, that can be annoying when you're instead wanting it to open in its native app. It happens when you tap on a Play Store link within a YouTube video, just like this one. It will not bring up the Play Store app. It'll instead open the Play Store website. A huge headache, cause it'll make you sign into your Google account when you try to hit the download button. So with an app called Link Sheet, it'll instantly open the app or game within the Play Store so that you can download it much more quickly. How is that possible? Well, Link Sheet restores the old URL app chooser menu, which was removed in Android 12. And to get it to work, you just set Link Sheet as your default browser. Then pressing a link will bring up that menu to choose your preferred browser. I usually just select Chrome and set it to open always. Finally, any Play Store links will open up in the Play Store app, as it should. By the way, if you download a single app throughout this entire video, all I ask is that you please drop a thumbs up. Last time we hit 5,000 likes. Let's try to see if we can beat that number. And if you're new here and don't know what's going on, this is an app series that I run every month where I show off 10 of the best apps that you will most likely download. So get subscribed because quality videos like this get released every week and you're not going to want to miss out. There are plenty of PDF readers out there, but not many are as powerful as UPDF, the sponsor of this video. Firstly, with just one license, you can use it across all your devices since it's available on Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. It's very powerful too, letting me annotate PDFs like highlight, underline, and even draw over text. Edit them like change up the wording or add images. Organize the pages and even combine PDFs. Convert them. Have optical character recognition to interact with written text inside images. Password protect them. Compress the PDF for a smaller size. Use it for signing contracts and so much more. Hell, it's even cheaper and has way more features than the famous Adobe Acrobat. And the best part is that all these functions are free and purchasing one license gives you unlimited file conversion, 10 gigabytes of cloud storage and watermark free saving. I'll even throw in an extra 54% discount and two gifts for the price of one if you use my top link in the description to sign up. Recently, my phone storage has been getting filled up really quick. I guess 120 gigabytes doesn't cut it nowadays. And sure, you can try to use files by Google to get rid of those unnecessary large files and apps, but there's still a good amount of system junk that gets left unnoticed and isn't reachable inside this Google app. So I had to turn to SDMate 2 forward slash SE. The name might sound familiar to some because it's an updated version of the original SDMate, a very popular cleaning app used by many back in the day, but it's now outdated. 
So SD made 2 brings it back to life with a modern material you theme and comes with just as powerful cleaning tools. It can delete system files the apps have left behind even after being removed, gets rid of useless system junk like logs, crash reports, empty folders, temporary files, and the most annoying of them all, cache. Plus, if you have root, it can dig even deeper to eliminate even more junk. Pretty clean. TZ Notify is one of the simplest apps I've ever encountered, yet it does something that no other Android or application has ever done before. Whenever you travel across the country or to a faraway region, your phone silently updates the system time zone without notifying you or letting you know what time zone you've entered. So TZ Notify alerts you when the system time zone changes and lets you know what time zone you've entered. That's it. Pretty helpful if you tend to travel a lot. I know most of us use a streaming service like Spotify or YouTube Music to listen to music, but how about those rare occasions when you download a song off the internet and you want to listen to it on a local music player? What offline music player do you turn to then? Well, there are plenty of options out there and everyone has their own favorite, but mine is Symphony. And that's just because it's got a modern, beautiful looking design while still keeping it lightweight and straightforward. It even categorizes everything very well for a smoother listening experience. It may not be the most powerful music player out there, but some of us don't really need all those extra bells and whistles. A lightweight, free, and open source music player with an eye candy UI is more than enough for most of us who just want to use it as a backup. Switching it over to the games, this first one is shit. No, literally, it's a game based around poop called Long Drop, and it's hilarious and gross at the same time. The objective is to fling poop from a butt and into a bucket. Yeah, it's, it's a really weird game, but surprisingly enjoyable. The more turds you make into the bucket, the higher points you get to move on to the next level. And to make things even more interesting, there are five different poops you can unlock, each with unique traits and abilities. And surprisingly, it can get pretty challenging to make these turds into that bucket as you get into the higher levels. The graphics, controls, music, and sound effects are great. You can tell that the developer put a lot of effort into this game. Plus it's not a pay to win title and barely has any ads. They only have one in-app purchase to stop all the ads at once. A literal perfect, but also kind of weird game to play while you're on the toilet. Tricky has a similar gameplay, but without the poop, <laughs> you're aiming and slinging a ball to hit all the other targets at once. It's even more complicated than the poop game because the higher levels come with multitudes of targets to hit. And you only get one shot at hitting all those blue circles so you have to aim and sometimes even time your shots just right. It has 110 levels to complete, so way more than long drop, but the graphics aren't as good. Plus it won't make you laugh or smile as much. Still, it's a great alternative. Little Journeys, which also sounds like a poop game, but I promise it's not. The idea and graphics are a lot more beautiful than that. Uh, you get to journey around some geometric looking lands in a blimp, picking up passengers from one end and dropping them off at the other. The controls are somewhat easy to get the hang of. The real challenge is trying to steer and control this aircraft without having it crash too hard into the ground or running into any obstacles. The only thing I will say is that unless there are some crazier levels at the end, I can see it getting pretty boring real fast. Still, some people really enjoy relaxing and simple gameplay, so if you want to ease some stress, download Little Journeys immediately. Gravity.io is kind of a combination of all the previous games in one way or another. Just like Little Journeys, you're controlling an aircraft, and just like Tricky or Long Drop, you're aiming and slinging across the map, but this time with a spaceship and around galaxies. The goal is to reach Earth by traveling through outer space and using the gravitational pulls of the planets and moons to slingshot in the correct direction that will take you back to Earth. Pretty much like the slingshot scene in Interstellar. Plus, you can also aim to capture three stars along the route, which can get pretty challenging because some of them are a bit off course, making you think twice about hitting the launch button. The graphics aren't that exciting and it seems like it could get pretty repetitive, but it's free to download and still enjoyable when you first pick it up. Anyways, click this playlist right here if you want to watch the previous best Android apps. I'll see you over there. I'll also warn you that it's a huge rabbit hole of apps that you will want to download. And I also hope that you enjoyed this month's videos of the best Android apps. Again, if you download at least one app, all I ask in return is that if you can please drop a thumbs up to show your support. And get subscribed with the notification bell turned on if you haven't already. I promise you won't regret it. 
Also, I'll leave the Pixel 7 Pro, which is the phone that I used in this video, within the YouTube product tag feature so that you can pick it up for yourself. Sponsored by YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!